Alright guys, so here's my accessory work. It's going to be on the screen right here. Um, day one, which is usually Monday for me, is going to be uh, overhead press day. So, you see there I got the 531 sets. That's week one is 555 five, five plus. Week two is 333 three, three plus. And week four, or week three is 531 plus. And then week four is a deload. So that's what all the 531 means. That's how the whole program is based. And then uh, after the main lift for each day, you see I got the overhead press, the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. Then I go into the accessory work. So here's a breakdown of what my accessory work looks like. On overhead press day, I have weighted chin-ups with your hands uh, supinated with your palms facing towards you. I've been working with 35 pounds on those, doing four sets of eight. I really want to focus on my form and mind-muscle connection and getting a good contraction so that um, I can really get the most out of that exercise since my only work for biceps pretty much. Um, after that, I move into dips to target my chest, shoulders, and triceps. Over on the right there, you see what each uh, workout targets for the most part. I try to lean a little forward on them so that I get a good uh, stretch and contraction in my in my chest. And also, at the top, I like to squeeze the triceps and squeeze my lower chest just to really get good contractions. I've also been working with 35 pounds on those, just really trying to focus on the mind-muscle connection for the first cycle. And then after that, I go into dumbbell rows. <coughs> and I've been, I think yesterday I did 120 pound dumbbells really just focusing on the contraction. For the first cycle I'm really trying to work on my mind muscle connection and really not trying to overload my body. The next day is squats and that's all lower body stuff. The overhead press day is all upper body stuff, back, shoulders, chest, triceps, biceps. So then the next day which is usually Tuesday is a lower body day with squats as the main lift. After the 531 work with squats, I go into the Romanian deadlifts. And I've been working with, I think, 275, trying to get the bar a little bit below my knees, maybe upper mid shin, and uh, exploding with a good like hip drive and contracting the glutes and the uh, hamstrings. And at the bottom, really trying to stretch the hamstrings out. Then leg press, just a standard leg press. I do uh, like 450 or 500 or something. Just really at the bottom trying to um, like get the muscles ready for the to explode through the rep. Jefferson squats, I just started doing these last week. I haven't done these before. Um, what you do is you take a bar facing like from your face forward to your back and you grab one side of the bar with your right hand and then behind your body with your left hand and um, you squat down like that and explode up. I think I've been doing, I think I did 70 pounds this morning just to get used to it before I start doing heavier weight. It's kind of like doing a barbell hack squat except the bar's in a different position but I feel like it's pretty similar. It's really quad dominant and uh, oh, here I wrote hamstrings and glutes but since I started doing them I think it's a lot more quad dominant you can get a really good contraction if you squeeze up on your heels and kind of uh, not push off your toes so much and then after that I just do calves on my upper body days I do abs for abs I do um, usually like three sets of ten for uh, heavy weighted work and then I'll do uh, like some sort of lower ab movement like hanging leg raises for uh, three sets of ten and then I'll do side bends for three sets of ten or two sets of ten uh, depending on how much time I have for calves I do one or I do three sets of ten to twelve with um, a bent leg exercise so it would be like your standard seated calf raise and then uh, I usually do five sets of five on a straight leg or stiff leg like standing calf raises and what that does for you is 
for calf training. When you do the uh, seated bent leg raises first, it really wears out the soleus. And then once you work into the standing calf raise with your legs straight, it'll focus mainly on the gastrocnemius. That's the meat of the calf muscle that everyone wants to grow. Next, I take Wednesday off, and then I work on Thursday. Thursday is my bench day, 5-3-1 again, depending on the week, reps change. Um, and then I go into weighted pull-ups. That's with your hands pronated. And uh, I think I've been doing the same thing, maybe 45 pounds on those. Really trying to contract, get a good uh, lat contraction doing those. I move into dumbbell military press. It's just a standard seated press, four sets of eight. I think I work with like 70 pounds or something. Trying to focus on good shoulder movement for that day. Um, cable rows, just your standard seated cable row with a uh, regular grip like this. You just pull it towards you. Um, three sets of eight. <clears throat> I have the number of sets here for all my exercises and the total is 14 sets I think that adds up to yeah 14 sets per workout so it's a pretty low volume for every day but they're all pretty much compound movements so I, li I like that about it especially since my push pull legs routine had a, had a lot of uh, isolation movements and it was just a lot of volume so for my final day it's deadlifts 5-3-1 work as usual and then I do front squats that's uh, really quad dominant. They're really good to uh, target your quads, drive through your heels. I just started doing these a couple months ago and it's really hard to get used to, especially having the bar on your shoulders, on your delts. Uh, I usually do them with my arms crossed over the bar because when I try to do it like this, I really can't do it. I've been trying to work on it, but it's really uncomfortable for me. After that I do good mornings. I used to do these like last year, but I stopped doing them for a while and I started doing them again on Friday. I think I only did like 95 pounds just to get used to it. Really trying to, I keep my legs bent a little bit and try to focus on a hamstring contraction at the bottom and then work into contracting my lower back at the top. I think it's a really good exercise especially to put after deadlifts because it really helps you like finish off your back muscles your lower back. And then I do the barbell hack squat for just three sets of eight. I really like doing these. You put the bar behind your ankles kind of and squat down as you would for a deadlift except you're pulling up through the back. I recommend if you're doing these before any upper body work like deadlifts or more kind of upper body work you really have to warm up your rear delts. Take like dumbbells or something and just stretch out the rear delts because they can really I used doing them before after leg presses and my upper body was really cold and it was it really started to irritate my rear delts and I felt like I almost pulled a muscle one day trying to do it so you really got to warm up because it's an awkward position for your hands being behind your heels um, and then I'm just calves after that and that's pretty much what my accessory work looks like I mean it's pretty simple it's a lot of compound movements I really like it that's what I'm going to be working with for this first cycle so I might change it after depending on how I feel if I want more isolation movements if I want to throw in like actual bicep and tricep exercises but so far I like it if you have any other questions let me know and uh, thanks for watching